How often do you experience anxiety? And how often does anxiety hold you back? But what if I tell you that I reduce my anxiety just by avoiding certain foods? And in this video you're gonna learn how I did it. So you try to approach a cute girl in public, but your thoughts are racing, your insecure he looks, you overthink about what's gonna happen if you get rejected. So you do nothing. Because you did nothing, you overthink your thoughts and guess what? Once again, you're stuck inside an overthinking loop which just makes you feel even worse. And that's not the first time that your anxiety held you back, isn't it? It happens all the time to the point where you can't live the life that you want to live. You're constantly under pressure, you constantly have a bad feeling in your gut, and you constantly have painful, racing thoughts. And there are 264 million people in the world who suffer from anxiety. And I understand your pain because I am one of them as well. But here are the foods that I avoid to reduce my anxiety and live a better life. Let's start with caffeine. Did you know that caffeine functions similarly to drugs like heroin and cocaine by increasing dopamine production and blocking cells that induce tiredness? This could make you have worse sleep which then again impacts your anxiety. And by consuming a large amount of caffeine, so around 150 to 200 milligrams, it raises your heart rate, decreases your appetite and it increases your muscle tension, which are similar symptoms to anxiety, which can make you feel even more anxious if you're already an anxious person. And the next thing on the list is sugary foods. They increase your blood sugar levels. So let me explain. Foods that contain high amount of sugar cause a blood sugar imbalance, which your body does not like, as it negatively impacts your small blood vessels, heart and kidney. And changing blood sugar cycles also triggers your anxiety and makes anxiety worse. Alcohol is the next thing on the list and you knew I'm gonna include this one because it's not only bad for your anxiety, but for your health in general. And I don't drink any alcohol since over a year. And you wanna know something funny? Alcoholic drinks contain a lot of sugar, which is again bad for your anxiety, as I explained in the previous section. Alcohol also damages your gut, which again, you could take a guess, is bad for your anxiety. And the next thing is kind of unexpected, but it has really helped me with my anxiety, and that is onions and garlic. They both feed detrimental gut bacteria, which can lead to increased anxiety because bad gut bacteria can trigger neurotoxins. And your gut health actually plays a very important role as it directly impacts your anxiety. And the next thing with the list are gonna be processed foods because they have high sugar again and also have high fat content. And that can significantly impact your mental health. You get brain fog, you can't concentrate, you can't do your work. It can spike your anxiety. I literally feel so much more anxiety after eating junk food or foods with contain a lot of sugar and fat. They cause spikes in insulin levels leading to anxiety and they also lack essential brain supporting nutrition. Junk food is not real food, it's just designed to make you addicted. So all the scientists who designed that food can make more profit off of you. They don't care about your health or mental health. And after you implement these short but juicy tips into your life, you will notice a significant improvement in your anxiety. And you will feel less anxious and your life will actually feel fun again. Your mental health will improve and you will grow as a person and people around you are going to notice your positive changes and they will wonder how you did it. And you could tell them you just did it by improving some little things and just adjusting your diet quite a bit. If this video is beneficial to you, make sure to check out my YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe and like. Consider sharing this video to a friend who actually needs it. It would benefit me and you because you're doing something good, you're helping someone and I benefit from it because someone else is watching the video. And also don't forget to book a free one one call with me first thing in the description. I can help you with your anxiety directly or self-improvement in general.